guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to share with you guys that I was on Settle Fours. I know a lot of you have been telling me to enter for literally years on Instagram, on YouTube, literally everywhere. And I finally did it and I was on the show. So today I thought I would show you guys the segment that I'm in, kind of react to it even though I've already watched it. We're gonna find out if I got roasted or not. I did get some criticism, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna get into all of that. I posted a TikTok about how I got on Setup Wars and it's so funny because Edgar actually pointed out some things that literally no one has ever pointed out and now I get a million questions about them and like, and like all of my comments are filled with those things, which is not a problem, I'm not saying it's a problem at all. But I just wanted to address them and kind of make a video informing you guys. Also, I wanted to show the changes that I've made since I took those photos for Setup Wars and I can also use it as a way to show you guys some changes I made to my setup between my most recent setup tour video. So yeah, if you want to see a very in-depth tour of my setup, I will leave it in the description, but I'm also going to show you guys what's different since then, so you're going to kind of have to watch both, but... So I'm going to be reacting to it even though I already watched it so you guys can watch it with me. I'm going to be addressing the most common questions I've been getting, and I'm going to be updating you guys on the changes. So yeah, before we get started, I just wanted to say if at any point you decide you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out a lot, and if you want to see more of my face or more videos from me, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. Most of my viewers aren't subscribed and we're about to hit 20k, so... And I just wanted to... Let you guys know I'm going to link the Setup Wars episode down below. You should definitely check it out. My girl Brittany is in there. I love her so much. And the girl who won, spoiler alert, I did not get the seal of approval, but the girl that won, um, I'm going to leave her Instagram down below because she definitely deserves it. Her setup is absolutely beautiful and she's so kind. Let's get on into the video. First, we're gonna watch it together. I'm gonna watch it on my phone and I'm gonna put it on the screen so I'm gonna stand over here. Um, I'm just going to skip to the segment that I'm in. You guys can go watch the whole video if you would like to. Here we go. We have Caitlyn's super clean setup from New York. She uses this for gaming, streaming, and video production. And right off the bat, I am loving the presentation. It's refreshing Thank to you. see a different color scheme as well. The setup mm -hmm. consists of an IKEA X back and countertop with two Alex doors as support. And on top I just of that, realized I don't even have to go over this stuff anymore. I said you guys can go watch like my past setup tour video so you can see everything, but I just realized like it's all gonna be listed here, so that works out, and you don't even have to go see. But I'll show you everything that I changed. She has an Alex add-on unit supporting both of her 27-inch MSI monitors. I love the use of colors in this setup. She put in a gray table in between both of the white Alex units to add that contrast. Excellent choice. Okay, so <laughs> I just wanted to say, if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I didn't do it for that reason. I kind of did. I used to have the white desktop, and I think that the countertops are such better quality than their tabletop. So I got a countertop, but I did choose the gray for that reason but I did originally have white, but the gray looks so much better. It's like textured. Fits of the Alex add-on unit other than the extra storage is that you can tuck away something in the middle. It could be a laptop, an audio interface, or in Caitlin's case, mm -hmm. a PS4. It also helps with cable management because you can just run the cable oh straight God, yes. through it instead of having to drill a hole. That's my favorite the part. The one downside to the add-on unit is that you have to keep your peripherals further away from the drawers in order to fully open it. Since Caitlin is using a 60% keyboard, she's able to get away with this. So here's a quick tip for That's you guys why out I got there who own an Alex add-on unit and have issues opening up the drawers because it hits the mouse pad. I'm pretty sure Caitlin also has the same issue I do. since the mouse pad is right next to the drawer. So here's a simple solution for that. Just buy these rubber feet and place them underneath the Alex unit. Put four on one side and four on the other, and it will lift the entire unit about three millimeters upwards, giving the drawers just enough clearance to slide over your mouse pad. That's very good advice, and I know that is a very common issue because a lot of people have that, and obviously your mouse and keyboard and everything are right there. I can open my left drawer. I mean, I have something there right now, but I can just easily move that. I usually don't go in my right drawer, I put everything that I need, which is just like my controllers, in the left drawer so that I can just open it and get them, and then I have extra controllers in the right one so I barely ever open that. I did that on purpose, but yeah, that is a definitely 
a very good solution to that. But also at the same time, like depending on your setup, like for me it's really not hard to just move my mouse pad, but it's definitely a good cheap solution. Radio, she uses the Astro A50s, however I find it amusing <laughs> that she uses only one this, of the Razer normal speakers. Where did you this, I keep one? getting roasted gonna... for now. I literally posted that TikTok and it's getting a lot of attraction and everyone is like, where is your other speaker? So I have one Razer Nomo speaker and yeah, I do have the other one obviously and when I used to have my pre-built, I had them on both sides, but now my PC is so big since I built one that there's no room on my desk to have both of them at all. So I just have the one because one, I rarely ever use my speaker. I'm always using my headset. The only time I use my speaker is Rarely if I'm watching YouTube videos. To me, it's not really a big deal at all. I know it looks very weird and <laughs> everyone is like, where is your other speaker? That's the reason. At Symmetry, you could have mounted them on a wall in a creative way. One option is to buy these tiny wall shelves and mount them right above your monitors. Then grab some VHB adhesive and attach the speakers upside down under the shelves. You might have to adjust the spacing on your guitars to make this happen but that is one option if you don't want to buy different speakers or It's definitely, again, a really good solution, but for me, as you can see, there's really no space to do that. Those speakers are very big and very heavy. I don't even know if I could put them upside down without like screwing them in somehow, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do that unless I literally took my guitars down or my sword. But for me, I was thinking about like fixing it and resubmitting it or something, but I only use one because I barely use my speakers, so. But that's definitely a really great option for anybody who has the same problem, because you probably don't have guitars in the way like I do. Cables are managed beautifully for the most part, however, there is a power brick that peeled off, probably due to <laughs> weak adhesive. If anyone wants- Yeah, so I didn't have any 3M strips, and I was taking these pictures like the day that I was submitting them. I worked on my setup like all week, pretty much changing stuff, and then I realized I didn't have any. So I had to use an extra one that came with my nano leaves, and I don't know why I didn't just stick it back to take the pictures. Watching has problems sticking heavy items like, on why... the desk. Use VHB adhesive. These things why can hold up a stick gorilla. It, for the it is that powerful. There's also some cables visible between your PC and monitor. I think a few Velcro straps could solve yeah, that. Yeah, I knew easily. that was the one thing I knew I was gonna get clocked for, but there was again nothing I could really do about those wires. You know when you just have that one couple of wires where it's like they're completely taut and there's nowhere else you can put them or hide them? That was those wires, so I try to just neaten them up as good as I can. And finally, we got the PC powering it all. It's equipped with the Ryzen 5 3600. These and specs a are different now. By the way, good job waiting a generation before upgrading because now you can pop an RTX 3070 in there and flex on them noobs. On the Oops. other side of the room. Yeah. <laughs> He said that and I thought it was so funny because I have a 2070 Super in there now, but I did get it for free, so it's not the end of the world to me. It's not like I bought it. But I do have an unboxing and installation video on the 2070 Super if you're interested, even though the 30 series just came out. console set up with a massive library of games and collectibles. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot of games. We even got some OG consoles in there as well, including the original Nintendo, N64, I had to include this wall. GameCube. She even has a bunch of handhelds that she stored in one of her drawers. My mouth is drooling right now. That is a nice collection, not gonna lie. Overall, I think the setup looks amazing. It has a good balance of functionality and aesthetics, but there were some minor things that raised some questions <laughs> like the single speaker placement and some parts of the cable management. However, I think Kate did a great job keeping everything organized and clean while adding Thank a bit you. of personality in there as well. I especially like these laser projections that she added to this setup, which looks really dope at night. I actually own two of these myself and they are I get awesome. a lot of questions about I know some of you them. are going to ask about it in the comment section, so I'll leave a link down below if you want to check it out. Great work, Catelyn. Thank, thank you. So yeah, that was my reaction to this. The only other question that I get a lot is about my monitors having the bezel right down the middle. A lot of people don't like that, and that's like the one thing that they're like, I love your setup, it's so incredible, but that's the one thing that like, why are your bezels down the middle? I'm gonna see if I can show you from here. I basically sit to the left right here. So this one's like directly in front of me and it's my main display and then I always have like discord or something else open over there 
but this is all like right in front of me and this is like directly in front of me so so now I'm just going to take you along over here I'm gonna hold my camera and I'm gonna show you guys all the changes that I've made I just don't have my star projector up right now because it's not charged I'm just gonna show you everything that's so different here's how my setup is looking it's obviously very similar there's just a couple of things that are different okay so the first thing that's probably the most exciting to me is this bat light I got this from Target recently super super bright and I think it looks really nice with my nano leaves next to it the next thing is I got this Geralt statue for on top of my PC and I got this on Amazon because The Witcher 3 is my favorite game ever and then I have this Tilted Nation headset stand go to my last video my PC has a few little changes like I said, I have a 2070 Super in here now. It was free, so it's no big deal. And I added another 16 gigs of RAM. And I upgraded my power supply to an 850, just because it was cheaper than the 750, so I was like, why not? Um, on my keyboard, I have this beautiful keycap that was gifted to me by actually the first girl who was in the video, Brittany. I knew how bad I wanted one of these, and she had a couple, so she sent it to me and it's like one of my favorite parts of my setup now. I got this crystal right here. You see but it has a really pretty effect just to add some personality and I love the way it ties in with everything. Two controller things right here that just hold your controller and I put the ones that I use the most which is my Steel Series for my PC and my PS4. And these are from these are from Glistco. I'll leave a link in the description. If you're interested, I added my Devoom. I still don't know how to say the name. Didu. Um, it's off right now. I have an unboxing review on this because I think it's the coolest thing ever. If you're interested, so I love that. And I added this Plague Doctor squishable to my chair because. How could I not, honestly? So yeah, those are the few little changes that I made. Just a little bit of PC upgrades and things to add a little bit of personality. So yeah, that's really it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought. I love you guys so, so much. I'm so excited that we're so close to 20K. It means the world to me. I'm probably gonna do like a 20 facts about me video or something like that as a special where I just let you guys get to know me a little bit better. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!